<clears throat> ladies, 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 I'm here this morning, I'm here on the channel, um, just woken up, um, I've just woken back up, I uh, signed so up upload another MLB news this morning, um, we watched the F1 race, um, here in a little bit, 7.47 currently, F1 race starts at 9 a.m., so I'll have a race review of that when it ends, but uh, we're going to talk about some more MLB news. So I'm doing another MLB news episode for because uh, I want to talk about some news uh, from today. So let's get right into it. Now, so this is episode 17 of the MLB news. I just uploaded episode 16 a few hours ago, so if you haven't watched that, go watch that. So let's talk about, uh, first we want to talk about Red Sox second baseman. Uh, Trevor Story, he reportedly uh, has a hairline fracture in his right wrist and will be shut down for 10 to 14 days from swinging, according to Boston's manager, Boston's manager, Alex Cora. This is a big blow here for the, for the Red Sox, losing their second baseman, Trevor Story, losing their second baseman. It's really unfortunate. Red Sox are really struggling of recent. They... I think they're all the way back now in last place in that division. They, they're just really struggling, are the Boston Red Sox. They were getting on a little bit of a hot streak, but now they're kind of cold. They're losing. Just awful. And now you're, you're losing your star first baseman for at least 10 to 14 days. He shut down 10 to 14 days from swinging, and it's not. No timetables report on when a Trevor Story's going to come back. So huge loss here for the Red Sox, at least for the time he's out. This team's just falling apart. Uh, second story I want to talk about is the Dodgers. Um, they've reportedly acquired a uh, reliever, Cubs reliever Chris Martin, in exchange for utility man Zach McKentry per Patrick Mooney. Um, so the Dodgers had a bullpen arm here in Chris Martin. So he's on the Cubs, and the Dodgers traded Zach McKentry because he really wasn't going to play, get that much. He really wasn't going to play that much. So Dodgers went in and got Chris Martin from the Cubs. So Chris Martin this year's been uh, been decent. Yeah, he has a 4.31 ERA and 31, 34, 34 games, but 31.1 innings pitch with 40 strikeouts and 1.3 whip. So I think again, I think the Dodgers could turn him into a good reliever. So pretty good trade here because Zach McKentry wasn't going to play much anyways, in my opinion. So. I like this trade. I like this trade here. I like this trade. Um, we have another story here breaking. The Tampa Bay Rays have acquired outfielder, outfielder David Peralta um, from the Arizona Diamondbacks in exchange for catcher, catcher Christian Serta per Jack Passan. So David Peralta, uh, he was on the Diamondbacks, obviously. So he's now moving on to the Tampa Bay Rays and watched the Rays need an outfielder because Kevin Kiermaier is hurt out for the season with after getting surgery. So this makes a lot of sense. Yeah, he's batting. He's uh has 12 homers, 41 RBIs, 248 batting average, but th he gets on base, 316 on base, 460 slugging, 777 777 OPS, and a 119 OPS plus. So he's had a pretty decent season, and this makes a lot of sense for the race because Kevin Kiermaier's uh, out for the season under have surgery. They need to add an outfielder, and this is a decent move here. Yeah, <laughs> decent move. I'm not sure who Christian Serta is. Must be like a minor leaguer, uh, I assume. Because I'm trying to search up his name, and there's nothing there. I think he's a... Uh, yeah, he's a catcher here. Um, he is uh, 19 years old, so it is a prospect. So that's what the Tampa or the uh, back here in turn. They get a 19-year-old catcher in Christian Serta. Uh, he's a right-handed bat. He throws right as well. His full name is Christian Alexander Serta. Uh, he was he's age 19, 216 days, and he was born in the Bronx in New York. So interesting trade here. So. Um, Rays get it for the short term, but for the long term, I think the Diamondbacks could win this trade here. 
So yeah, um, the Dime or the San Diego Padres are readying a trade package for na national superstar Juan Soto that reportedly includes the likes of shortstop C.J. Abrams, who's uh, not had a good eight rookie season. Like I know he's a rookie, but he should be doing a lot better uh, this year. He has a uh, well, he's actually done a lot better as of late. He's got the batting average up. The on base is still 287, pretty decent. But the uh, he needs to get that OPS up and that OPS plus and that batting average. 234 batting average, two homers, 11 RBIs, 287 on base, 323 slugging, 609 OPS, 78 OPS plus. He's got the batting average up a little bit, but I'd like to see that OPS go up. But um, and outfielder uh Robert Hassel. So Robert Hassel, I think it's a minor, minor leaguer. If I'm not mistaken, I don't even know through this trade package. I just don't know if it's be enough. Jesus Christ, Robert Hassel, uh, he's a uh, 6'2", 195. Uh, he can play all the positions in the outfield. Um, he can play all positions in the outfield. Basically, he's a young, another young prospect Padres have, and a left-handed pitcher, <sighs> Adrian Moran, per J.P. Morasi. So this is the players that could be in this trade package. I don't think this would be enough for Juan Soto. I don't think that's, this is enough. C.J. Abrams, uh, shortstop outfielder Robert Sale, can play opposition in the outfield, and a left-handed pitcher, Adrian Moran. So. This year, um, he has a 6.75 ERA in seven games, with 9.1 innings pitch, with nine strikeouts, 1.286 whip, and a negative 0.3 WAR. He's been injured most of the season, but even when he's pitched, I mean, in my opinion, he hasn't really pitched well. So this wouldn't be a ale trade package for the Nationals if they were to accept this, which I doubt they would. Because uh, if you're the Nationals, you should demand more if you're the Washington Nationals here. So yeah. And the last thing I'll talk about is the San Francisco Giants. Uh, they are reportedly ready to sell and are now listening to certain veterans on their squad, which includes the likes of Jock outfielder, likes of outfielder Jock Peterson and left-handed pitcher Carlos Rodon. So, yeah, the Giants are very disappointing this year. Um, just very disappointing team. Uh, they're listening all like all their, they're listening to trades for like their veteran players like Rodon. They signed to a five year deal. They're not, they're gonna trade them. Jock Peterson. Um, this year Rodon's eight and six with a three point one eight ERA in twenty games, but one hundred sixteen innings pitched, one hundred and forty eight strikeouts. With a 1.121 whip. He's been very underrated this season. That's Carlos Rodon. So if, if any team can complete a trade, if they'd be getting a really good underrated pitcher. John Peterson's here. He's at batting average is falling to 242, but 17 homers, 43 RBIs, but he's still getting on base 319 on base, 492 slugging, 811 OPS, 125 OPS plus. All star this year. So I think, but I mean the Giants, they're falling apart. And they're listening to trades for their veteran players. I think they're trying to get younger for the future. I think they're just trying to rebuild now. So they might as well trade for Don, um, Peterson, Belt, Crawford. If if that's if if, that, if they if you want to rebuild, that's what you gotta do. Get some young players. Just throwing out some ideas, but you know, that's all I have to say for this video, ladies and gentlemen. Next time, I'm gonna like a like. I thank you for watching.